greetings and blessings to you all. It's a pleasure to be with you once again on the Gideon Podcast. This is your host, Pastor Simeon Gideon Nerelus. Let us read our text for today and then we will pass to our prayer to begin our show today. Once again, welcome and thank you. Judges chapter 7, verse 9. Judges chapter 7, verse 9. It happened on the same night that the Lord said to him, Arise, go down against the camp, for I have delivered it into your hand. It happened on the same night that the Lord said to him, Arise, go down against the camp, for I have delivered it into your hands. Let us pray, Father God. Thank you once again. You manifested yourself to Gideon and the Israelites as the God, as the Yahweh Shalom, the God who gives peace and the mist of war, tribulations, turmoil. Lord, we need it this day. We need it today. May you bless us and bless this uh, program, this radio station, and all uh, worldwide, online, where people will be uh, uh, um, listening or watching this program. Lord, we thank you. We praise you. We uh, love you, Lord. And we ask you all of these things. It is in Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Well, 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 uh, thank you again. Uh, we are happy to be with you again on this uh, third episode of the Gideon Podcast. The Gideon Podcast, a show, a weekly show every Friday on Envision Radio at 3 p.m. Uh -huh, on 3 p.m. You can leave your comments and uh, make time to uh, listen or to watch this program. And we thank God for what he had uh, been doing through us, through this ministry, and what he is doing now and what he has in store for us. We are excited and we are more excited that you are part of this great, uh, uh, this great network. Now... Let us get to our text today and the lesson we are studying for the last few weeks are five leaderships, uh, five leadership lessons from the life of Gideon. Mm -hmm. Gideon. And Gideon uh, is, 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 is the, the mission that God has given us all in these very last days. Mm -hmm. Well, let us go back. Uh, we have seen that uh, Two of the lessons. The first one was the mission hasn't changed. The mission is still the same as God chose, you know, Gideon to lead the Israelites out of uh, out of uh, misery that they were in, to destroy all those 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 false worship, the worship of other gods. We're talking about the people of God, my friends, huh? So. Gideon had to put law and order in his household. So before we can lead others, we have to fix our mess. Or at least be willing to be fixed. Amen? Well, that's what he had to do. He had to destroy those false gods his, his father was worshipping and That's what he had to do. Hmm? And as leaders, we will see that your calling... Your mission has to do with your whole existence. That's, that's, what, that's why God created you. And he created each and every one of us for a purpose. So this is a great lesson for uh, uh, lesson, leadership lesson number one. Mission hasn't changed. We have to look at what God wants to do in your life, through you, through your ministry, through your business, through your, it's part of your mission, part of your uh, existential mission. So the second, the second uh, lesson is that God does big things in unlikely ways. God does great things 
in ways that you will have never thought or imagined. And we, had, we did went over uh, a great professor, uh, uh, former professor, uh, uh, Dr. E. e. Cleveland at uh, you know, Oakwood University, uh, teaching us you know, theology and uh, evangelism. He said, I have seen God for so long uh, doing so many things with so little. I now believe he can do anything with nothing, meaning me, that nothing is me. Mm, 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 mm. We have to bow. We have to humble ourselves in order for God to do what he only can do. But some, most of the time, we are full of ourselves. We don't give God space to really do what he only can do. Right? The second lesson. And now we come to the third leadership lesson we are learning from uh, the life of Gideon. And it is, the battle is not yours. Again, the battle, the battle uh, is not yours. Mm. Mm. And let us read the text again, if you don't mind. Let us read the text in Georges chapter 7, verse 9. It says, It happened on the same night that the Lord said to him, to Gideon, Arise, go down against the camp, for I have delivered it into your hands. Hmm? We see, God is is the star he's the star in the movie if you allow that hmm? first of all when we look at the account of gideon from chapter 6 to chapter 7 in georges we have to note we have to think about how many times uh, god is the author god is the initiator hmm? let us see how God action shows that God approached Gideon. See, God took the action hmm? to lead and to, to to lead the people. He came to him, leave all of heaven. My God is awesome. Who am I? Who are we to be partakers of this great truth and to be missionaries for God? To be God's right man, right hand man. Well, yes. So. Second, that was in chapter 6, verse 12. And second, we see, we see that God sent Gideon. Once again, God is the subject. God sent Gideon in verse 14 of chapter 6. God promised to be with Gideon. Verse 16. And God gave signs, signs to assure Gideon that, yes, I am with you. Because it, it's important. Yeah, we are in a spi spiritual war, a physical war. And Gideon had to make sure that uh, it's God because otherwise he, he's done. He's dead. And sometimes we may not be dead physically, but spiritually we are dead. We may be dead. So we have to make sure our relationship with God, uh, our relationship with God is sustained, is well nourished. Our daily devotion in you know words of inspiration. If you need uh, materials and to inspire you for daily reading that's smooth and easy, we can provide that for you once you contact or connect with uh, the Gideon podcast. All right. So God sent Gideon, God promised to be with Gideon, and then God gave signs to Gideon. And God filtered the soldiers uh, mm -hmm, from 32,000 soldiers, most of them unworthy, up to 300 soldiers. And God doesn't like to share his glory. And we see how uh, uh, God now tested the troops by the river and God promised to deliver Israel from the hands of the Midianites 
and it was God who told Gideon when to attack. So we can see that the battle, the fight you are leading, the, 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 the graduate school you have to get into, the, 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 the husband you are seeking, the wife you are seeking, or the job you are seeking, yes, you are seeking it to fulfill God's ideals for you, for your life, God's mission for you in this world. You shouldn't take as if this is my personal thing and the house that I'm going to buy is for me to show off. No, 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 no. It's all part of God's grand design. Uh -huh. for, of God's grand design. For his purpose. And he saw fit where to fit you in that, in that great plan. So once again, it is not your battle. That sickness maybe you are facing with and it's been so oh, so long and, and you are praying God. You know God is with you, but he doesn't answer you. You're asking why God, why? But guess what? It, 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 that sickness, it's not your battle. God loves you. God seeks your best always. So we can rest assured that God has your best interest at heart. It is not your battle. It is the Lord. Oh, that song comes to mind. Oh, how much burden we carry when we don't bring to when we don't bring all of these things in prayer to God. We come to bring them and place them under His feet. But we try to carry those those, those burdens and, and, and we think this battle is mine. I have to win that battle. I have to I have to fix that person because the way they talk to me, I, I, I want to show them that, you know, you know, hey, let them know who I am. Well, who are, who are you? Who, who am I? Hmm. My. See, the battle is not yours. Well, we can see Gideon. Uh, 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 yes, do you see that? You see how many actions God took with Gideon, with the Israelite. Uh, we may think that it was, you know, Gideon's battle. Huh? But it wasn't. It was God's battle. All along. Because God's reputation was, was on the line. The Midianites worshipped other gods and they were whooping, you know, the, the people of God. So it's like they were, they were kind of uh, despising uh, the true God of Israel. It's a spiritual war. So God had to manifest himself. Oh, yes, evil may go rampant for a while. But God is in control. America, there may be mass shooting. Huh? Haiti, there might be whatever, uh, other crimes. In the world, war in Ukraine, in Ukraine, war in my life, because the greatest war you will ever fought is the is the war within your ideals, what you believe, what you do, what you don't do. This is a war of good versus evil in my life. Often, I want to blame other people for my uh, misfortune. But when I really look deep inside, I have to make those decisions. I have to let what influence me or not. So, once again, we are part of a grand design. And the master, uh, the master uh, uh, designer, our God, our creator, he does have our best in mind. And... His plan will always be fulfilled. And we can rest assured with that hope. That as God was with Gideon, we, will, we know that God is also with us. God is with us. I don't know what you may be going through. Pre prejudice at work. Maybe in your area, in your neighborhood. Oh, you, are, you don't have peace within. Maybe you are seeking for the truth. Reach out to that great ministry and we'll be more than happy to connect with you 
and sign up for Bible studies because we ought to know what these days you know, are about. And as a matter of fact, with Gideon, after we finish this series on Gideon, we will start a series on the book of Revelation. We are a remnant people, the people of the last days, uh, 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 you know, uh, of the apocalypse. Revealing, revealing of what? That I know you are seeking for and will come step by step easily and to understand the time that we are living in with this mass deception that the enemy is, 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 is working on so you can detect it, you can know it, and you can be placed on the side of truth so that together with good, you will prevail, we will prevail. It was a pleasure to have been with you today, and we thank God and we thank you for following the Gideon podcast, and once again, thank you. And uh, we will come back uh, to greet some folks, and then we will pray. This music you are listening is uh, originally produced by Gideon TV for Gideon Podcast. For the Gideon Podcast, uh, we have producer, maestro, musician, Mr. Gerald, uh, Gerald Dubois. Uh, Gerald Dubois, who really mastered and produced uh, this, uh, great piece, this great piece uh, for us. And uh, we thank uh, his... Uh, his ministry and his work uh, in our community and if you should desire some music um, for your show or for any program he can uh, hook you up with some great sound that he himself produced so you don't won't have any problem with um, copyright and other things like that uh, maestro producer Gerald Dubois thank you my brother Thank you again. Well, folks, uh, may you share this podcast. May you like and what is that? Uh, you can subscribe to our channel or like us online, Facebook, YouTube, it all. Uh, Go Gideon TV. Uh, Go Gideon TV. This is where you can connect with us so that uh, we can continue to do this great work uh, together. Let us tell you a little bit more about uh, the Gideon uh, ministry, uh, Go Gideon ministry. We have uh, been helping to uplift, to lift up humanity uh, for the past 25 years. Uh, ever since I was in uh, college, uh, I really was introduced to this uh, great uh, ministry, the National Association for the prevention of starvation and for short naps uh, that opened my horizon my view my world viewpoint to really uh, help the world and with naps uh, it's napsoc.org that account uh, they doing wonderful humanitarian work uh, social uh, work uh, around the world uh, in tornadoes hit uh, hurricanes or 9-11 or uh, tsunami in Asia all over the world they are doing great work uh, my brothers my sisters and we thank uh, the NAPS team for all the good things that they are doing keep it up guys great job so so that opened my eyes to when we work, do work in Haiti and build schools when I saw Young ladies coming from here who are not you who are not used to to the heat, uh, to the scorching heat of the of Haiti, that really inspired me as someone 
uh, uh, you know, as a man, as, as, a, as a Haitian, really to, to do more. When I see how those young ladies were, you know, lift up, you know, they, they, I mean, they were working hard to build that school. And uh, Dr. Paul, of course, the director, has, you know, become my, 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 my role model and sort for child work. So that's what we've been doing, helping children, whether it be in Haiti or, you know, around the nation, the U.S., to inspire other generations to do good, to serve their communities, you know, to give back. That's what we've been teaching. So as part of this work, uh, we preach the gospel, of course, and we share the gospel. And of course, as you know, the gospel is, is, is free. But witnessing, <laughs> witnessing, of course, means to do that. We have to buy the materials here, and some of the time we send them to Haiti. So all of these things, we want to continue to do those things, and um, we seek your prayers and your help should uh, you choose to do that. Uh, go Gideon is the place to go. Go Gideon. It's, uh, you can go online, gogideon.org, and you can connect with us on our social media handles, and uh, we'll be more than happy to partner with you to continue to do this great work. Of course, every Friday at 3 p.m., uh, the Gideon podcast on Envision Radio. We are excited and also on our social media platform. It was a pleasure to have been with you and we thank you and we will do a prayer for you, for your family, for, for your day, for your night, for your success, for we all need it in these very last times we are living. Mm -hmm. God bless you. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you again because you are our God. Yahweh, the God of life. In you, we live. In you, we move. In you, we have our being. Without you, we are nothing, Lord. So we thank you for this uh, broadcast. Thank you for Envision Radio, Sister Liz Abakan. We pray for anyone now sick, Father God. Maybe it's a natural sickness or maybe it's a supernatural sickness. We know the enemy is really uh, 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 very evil. So we pray, Father God, that you deliver your people. Maybe it's a psychological problem. Maybe it's a trauma. Whatever it may be, Father God, maybe a problem with a child or something or young adults, Father God. I pray today you bring healing for our soul and the mind in our mind. Father God, help us, Lord, today. Bless this great nation, the U.S. of A. Bless Haiti. Bless the world. Bless your church, Father God, and that this gospel of the kingdom may go far and wide as a witness unto all nations, and then you will come to rescue us to that perfect paradise that you once had for us. Lord, we thank you. Cover us. We ask all of these things. In Jesus' precious name, in Jesus' precious name, amen, amen, amen. Well, thank you again. God bless, God bless, God bless. Thank you.